Blockbuster with Nick Codenberg. In this video, we're going to learn how to return data back to the client using Socket Cluster and render the data on the page. And one thing I think you'll notice is unlike traditional uh, web pages, on here we're going to be opening up, we opened up a socket, we're going to pass the data through the socket, and you'll notice it's really, really quick. At, um, at my job, um, we push down 20 and 30 megs of data sometimes, and that is rendered very, very, very quickly, much faster than a traditional uh, app, app would do it. So um, anyway, let's start out. So the very first thing we're going to need is some data, right? So I like to do that with a controller uh, and a model, uh, the MVC, pat uh, MVC pattern. So let's see, we'll open a creating folder called con controllers, and we'll create a new file here called model controller just now you don't have to do it this way but I find this way much easier to control how I'm passing data back and forth okay so uh, var model controller we're just gonna create a little controller we need a models folder so we'll do models uh, we'll see. Let's let's do user, user users.js. Okay. Now in a real environment, you'd be using a database like you know, RethinkDB or My, MySQL, or if you absolutely have to, MS SQL. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of MS SQL, but um, a lot of other um, databases out there to store data. But in this scenario, we're going to strictly deal with uh, um, static data. So let's do that. Var users equals here. We'll go. Not purchasing right now. Okay. I'll talk about exports. Oops. Users. And anyone who's done uh, Node.js before will recognize uh, the syntax here. Um, model controller dot users equals require. So you do dot dot forward slash models users.js and then we'll go into here and we'll do um, users well let's do the uh, we're going to do the um, rest way of doing this here function we're going to pass in a client a pool which we'll get to in a little bit actually no, we're not going to do that right now data okay so let's get some data of our results goals one, what we're doing here is we're creating an object to pass back to the client, and we want to make sure we let the client know whether it's successful or not and the reason why. So we'll start out with the default message here. We'll say, um, failed to get users. Now, as you go through your stuff, your, your functions and whatnot, you'd obviously change these messages as you go based on whether or not it's successful or not. So when you create a finish function, finish. Oops. Client.emit. Now there's two types of emits we'll go over real quick. Um, we'll talk cluster. There's emits and then there's uh, broadcasts or publishes. When you publish to a channel, every client receives it. When you emit, it only goes back to the client that made the request. And uh, so we'll, we'll get more into that a little bit later. So let's see. Uh, response results. And we'll just, we're not actually going to um, do a do a real like you know database here in, in this uh, tutorial, but normally you do something like you know MySQL dot query, and you know select star from users, and then you pass a function. And anyway, we're, but we're not going to do that right now. We're just going to assign some data. Okay, so results dot uh, let's say users is equal to oops array. That array has let's have two two objects in here. Well, an ID of one with a name John, and then we'll have another oops, another object. Oh, I can't type today. With um, ID two and name, we'll use my name, Nick, and then we'll call uh, finish like so. Okay. So let's explain what's going on here. So we have a controller, and we're 
creating uh, access to the control to a model through the controller here, and we're defining the the one of the uh, models in this file here. Now, how do we get to that from the client? Well, we're going to use the worker to do it. So we need to start out with creating a controller for um, models. Oops, model for the client to the uh, worker to use. So equals require the same thing as before controller oops controllers model oops model wow js okay so let's say the client wants to get some data so on here we're gonna have to create a path for that data to, to, to um, oh one thing we forgot we need to notify back where it's going uh, users index okay we'll explain what this is here in a minute so this is the message that's coming in from the client right so we'll do a model controller and we're going to do data dot route data dot resource I'll explain what's going on here in just a minute we're going to pass in the client and the data so the client comes from up here and that's the user user's client object and then the data is, that was passed in from the users right there okay so what this does is when a message comes in from the client it calls the model controller with the route and the resource in this case we're going to call users and then an index we'll get to that in a minute and returns the data here client emits back to the client here with the data okay so now the server is all set up now we need to set up the client okay so Let's get rid of this because we're not going to be doing that anymore. We're going to be observing for server. Oops, server. And that's going to have a function that's going to call data. Um, oops. Socket.emit data. What that's going to do is that's going to cause the server to receive the data from. Oh, oh, oops, we need to do. There we go. So any in now what's going to happen is any function on the client side can call a server and pass data to it. It'll go to the worker, which will go to the model controller, and then to whatever model happens to be there. Now in a real production environment, you would want to lock this down, but we're not going to do that here. Uh, I'll leave that as a an exercise for you on the side. Okay. So now let's actually request some data and show it. So. Um, Socket on response. We need to notify. Notify data dot notify data. This is doing here is when the response comes back from the user, we're passing this user index in this case to the notify. Which remember this this is a string here, and here's the data, right? This is the this is the uh, the, the kind of the path the channel we're talking to, and here just like sort of like this it's an, it's an event so now we need to create a users page real quick so i think we're almost out of time let's try this quickly so users.js just to save a little bit of time we're going to copy and paste this here and we're just going to do users there we need to add it to the nav bar here users users and then we need to add it to the router so let's do that real quick users users <clears throat> and then the user file or response so now what we're going to do is instead of showing the page we're going to, we're going to call the server to get the data for the users so we're going to do notify uh, and we're going to say, let's see here, we're going to say server, we're going to pass in a route of users, like we did before, resource, and that's index there. And we're not going to need passing in of data. We could if you wanted to. And then we're going to observe, um, let's see, users, oops, dash index, function, data.